Hey guys, today I'm at BAFTA and soon all those seats will be filled. Why? Because we have a special preview of the brand new Disney animated series, Milo Murphy's Law. Now, not only are we gonna see a couple of the episodes, we're also gonna get to meet the creators of the show, Dan Povenmire and Jeff Swampy Marsh. Now, if you don't know who they are, they also created Phineas and Ferb. They're legends. I'm gonna see if I can find them right now. I managed to track them down. It is Dan and Swampy. Here we are. Good to see you guys. Good to see you, man. Good to I'm see you. really looking forward to this event today. Um, As we are. Yeah. Milo Murphy's Law, can you just give me a little quick synopsis? What's it all about? So Milo is the great, 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 great grandchild of Murphy from Murphy's of, Law, which states... Uh, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So everything that can go wrong does go wrong around Milo since he was a little, little kid. So mm. he's used to it now. He just, uh, he just takes his life in stride. He's, he's, he maintains a super, super positive, uh, resourceful uh, personality, and, uh, and we have a lot of fun. I think if you'd ask him, he'd say it, it just makes his life more interesting and adventurous. Boom. Nice. <laughs> so how long have you been uh, working on this? Uh, we've been doing this since since Phineas was winding down. We had done Phineas and Ferb for the for the Disney Channel, and uh, as as uh, we were working towards the finale of that episode uh, of that series, we uh, I drew a picture of this kid that I th was sort of like a caricature of a friend of ours. Yeah. Like what would Noah look like when he was in middle school? And Noah's this super positive guy, and I and I brought it into Swampy. I said, "What do you think of this guy?" And he's like, "Ooh, he should have his own series." And I was like, "I just have that he's like super positive and optimistic." And he's like, what if he's optimistic in the face of enormous odds, like everything goes wrong around him all the time? And, and, and I was like, oh, like like Murphy's Law, he could be a Murphy. And, and we created the whole show in like an hour in your an office. Hour, including the pilot. Yeah, yeah, we wrote we, the whole pilot episode. Wow. Yeah, and we, we, we had like the, the whole pilot outline done, and I left that, it left his office and went and started drawing the storyboard for the for, for the pilot. I, we, I went to the beach and went surfing for a while, so I had You sound like you had the good job. job. He, yeah. the, that's how we divide the labor. I do the work and I, he goes and I surfs. Surf. That's, that's how it works. Huh, it's one of those heavy duty bungees they use to tie stuff down at construction sites. Hey, where did you get the... I bet my pudding pack we don't see them again today. I'll take that action. Really? Yeah, are you kidding? Milo's tough. As a matter of fact, I'll see your pudding pack and raise you a snickerdoodle. Or are you just all talk? <laughs> she just called you out. Ah, wait, why aren't you screaming? I find it doesn't help. It just hurts the larynx. Uh, hand me that bungee, and you better hang onto my backpack. That bungee was definitely defective. No, D.O.G., go home. Silly dog. He's not supposed to be in the street. You might want to slide over this way a little. The J word wouldn't happen to be jinx, would it? This guy Noah, how does he feel to have inspired this whole series? I mean, well, I feel fantastic. Well, for a little while, we had talked about having him do the voice because he's just got this naturally upbeat. You know, you talk to him and say, hey, how's your day, Noah? It's like, well, my car blew up this morning, but, you know, it was sunshine, so got to walk to work in the sunshine. And he's that guy, and the problem was he was doing another show for Disney, so he was so busy, Disney said, we, yeah. you can't take him for a couple hours every week to do voice recording. Yeah, it's like you cannot wow. have two hours of Noah's time because he's running his own show. And, uh, and so we, we looked all over for a voice that we felt like worked as well, and uh, you, and we we would almost run out of uh, you didn't, things. You didn't Your call, agent said we didn't call you. Because, I was not yes. busy. I, and, we uh, need to talk about it because I was not busy. Yes, <laughs> and we ended up with uh, with Weird Al Yankovic, the who's who who just Legend. you know like as soon as I, I somebody had tweeted a friend of mine had tweeted a picture of him with Weird Al, and we'd met Weird Al a couple times, yeah. and Weird Al is just a super positive guy, much like Noah, and we're okay. like. <gasps> Weird. Wait, wait, what does his voice sound like? I had to like think of what his voice sounds like when he's just talking, and we w and we just sort of keep him up in his higher register, and he and he really it, it's when, like we put it to the the picture, and it 
worked. Spot on. When, when we cast people, we tend to block out what they're doing and just listen to their voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you'll hold up the picture of the character and close your eyes and listen to a voice. You think, surprisingly... Wait a minute, why, why are you closing your eyes when you're holding up the picture? No, it's, you know... It, are you I holding up know. a picture I knew and then closing your uh, eyes? So, so the, the holding up the picture doesn't make any looking sense. looking at somebody and watching when they're doing the voice really messes you up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then you, you realize pretty quickly, oh yeah, there's a lot of Al's range yeah. that just sounds like a 13-year-old kid. Yeah. Awesome. And he hasn't had any of that. Uh, life hasn't beaten all the optimism out of, uh, optimism out of him. That's good. It's a good yeah. place to be. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much for talking to me. Sure. Uh, looking forward to this event. Looking forward to seeing the episodes. And maybe we'll have a chat later. Okay, sounds awesome. good. So, uh, so Milo is is a is a is this sort of wide-eyed optimist. So I always start with his uh, his eyes absolutely wide open, sort of circular eyes. And uh, drawing circles for you people that are out there learning to draw is probably one of the most important parts of drawing in animation. Yeah, everything's <laughs> sort of based on uh, on circles. So. Uh, so Milo's got this this big strong cheek over there, which gives him this sort of likability. I think that, that half of it is the cheek. And he's got this hair flip on top. That he does. Can you guys see it up there? Is it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it coming up? There? It's working. Well, it's, it's working. It's working. It's functioning properly. That was absolutely fantastic. I mean, the guys are still here. They're signing a few autographs and meeting the fans. But it was so good to just get an insight into what they do, how they create things, and find out a bit more about Milo Murphy's Law, which I think is going to be an absolute hit. Thank you very much for watching. I've got one more little piece of top quality information. Yes, it's a signed card milo murphy's law i've got about three of these to give away make sure you check out my website and you could be going home with one of these i'll see you soon